it's time to learn about how derivatives can fail to exist. Remember that derivatives are limits, so they fail to exist whenever these limits fail to exist. Limits can fail to exist in lots of ways, but we've seen a few special ways in which this can happen. We'll look at two examples in this video. Consider this graph of a function f. Let's look at the behavior of the derivative at a. We can see that the secant lines for negative values of h approach a horizontal line, so this one-sided limit is zero. But if we consider the other one-sided limit, where h is positive, then the secant lines approach a line with positive slope. It's about two. So the left and right-handed limits aren't equal, so the derivative doesn't exist at a. Note that the limit of the function itself exists at a. We're only saying that the limit that defines the derivative doesn't exist. Now let's consider this function. Once again, the secant lines as we approach a from the left are all horizontal, so the left-handed limit is zero. But the secant lines as we approach a from the right get steeper and steeper, so the right-handed limit is negative infinity. Once again, since these two limits aren't equal, the derivative doesn't exist at a. These are only two ways in which the derivative can fail to exist. I leave it as an exercise for you to draw a graph of a function satisfying this equation for some a. As a hint, I'll tell you that some examples might not look like what you expect.